Hello, it's Jess from Nigeza Creates. Thank you for joining me today. So I've got my elastic bound journal um, again for you. And I have done the two elastics and I've done two signatures. Um, they're both practically the same. So I'm going to show you how I did it uh, in case you've never done one before. I've never done one before. Um, I'm just thinking, I think I'm a bit far away. Let me just... Uh, that's a little better. Um, so, uh, got some elastic. I lost my original elastic, so I had to buy some more. And then I lost that, didn't I? <laughs> it's just, it's took me about an hour and a half to find it. But there you go. It had kind of fallen on the floor. So, I've got it. I've got my elastic poking out there so I can hold on to it. I'm grabbing that end there. And I'm pulling it towards it and that is about I'm stretched it that's about the length I want I'm going a little bit more because it's easier to tie the bow so if you've got a little bit extra so we're going I'll tie the knot really it's not a bow left over right right over left go under pull it I can't begin to tell you how much easier this is than when I did it um, earlier because um, I, I'd cut it to the right size so we're just going to snip that off a bit and that off a bit and that is that is the, the, the elastic. And so now I'm going to make up my signature. Now, this might not be um, all. I might add more, but I've done like 10 pages. Um, so and obviously I've got to cut it so that it's in between these two um, holes. So that it makes it seven and a half inches um, tall and uh, the middle section is actually I'm going to have to take this top one out because I can't remember the size so I'm going to use that so that I know the size I'm wanting now I've chosen my papers and because it's red a sort of it's sort of significant what I've what I've chosen so um, I've got here one of my digitals so this is a master board I made um, with all um, uh, public domain material so that I could scan it and reuse it and I've chosen it because because um, this is what I do and he's really really supportive of what I do um, so yeah that was the reason for that um, and I just backed it with um, some other digital that, that I've made. And then I've got some tea dyed paper. And um, yeah, it drives him insane when I tea dye. So I take over the whole kitchen. But, you know, he's still supportive. Um, and then I've got a page from a, um, a nature journal. And um, we always like going for walks. So I chose uh, pages that had... Um, pictures on both sides and um, this one has got February at Lower Helvor Phoenix Pheasants and very end though I couldn't remember if that was significant other than the fact but I'm going to cut the top off yeah. February's his birthday here I've got a page from my antique um, Bible um, he was with me when I spied it he helped me log the really heavy thing all the way around um, Hebden Bridge. And um, never mind, bless him, never mind. Some more tea dye paper. And then I got some old maps. Now, there's a map in each, um, each of the um, signatures. And I chose each bit of the map 
specifically because it means something. Now this one, we've got uh, Little Walsingham there. This is North Norfolk and um, we, uh, I, I, I still do, but he moved on, but we attended a pilgrimage um, every Easter walking to Little Walsingham in North Norfolk. If he'd have never met me, he'd have probably never ever did it. Um, and we did it for years and years and years together, I mean decades. And then there is another pilgrimage that happens at Easter that goes to Holy Island, um, Lindisfarne. And then there's another one that walks to Iona in Scotland. And he's done both of those. And it's the one in Scotland that he um, continues to do now. And that is, he says, is his spiritual home. So at Easter, I'm down here in Norfolk and he's up there in Scotland. But this is like part of the first route that we ever did um when we used to start from london and walk to north norfolk and there's lots of places around here where we stay and then we've done essex and walked up the, the, the coast as well so yes very significant and actually unlike the other maps i think this one's got the same picture on both sides anyway i've used a a paper bag in both of them again he supports my obsession of keeping packaging and so i'm going to use this port marion one because we went there a couple of years ago and it was totally on our bucket list and so i thought i'd include this paper bag in this one um of music ed loves his music so i just and he loves christmas so i had a christmas hymnal and um, so that's what I chose as the music section of this. And um, we love going to carol services and we're usually quite silly at a carol service and sing the alternative words to lots of carols and um, try and try and sing all the flowery bits. But we can't sing. So it's funny. Makes us laugh. Um, um, I've chosen got a book on Monet. Monet's not his, he likes impressionists like me. Monet's not his favourite but it's my favourite. Uh, I happen to have a book on Monet so that's that's where we where we are. If, if I had some Vermeers he'd be, because he likes the Dutch arches as well and he really likes Vermeer, then that would probably have been um, better for him. But um, I like this one because it's um, paintings from Venice and Ed and I went to Venice a few years ago. And um, so it's kind of a double whammy, that one. Um, and then it's not quite big enough. So just a bit of principle. Um, this was some journals I made uh, a couple of years ago. And um, I gave one copy to um, Ed's mum. And um, one copy to my sister-in-law. And then I have got here a paper bag. And this is from Gusto. And Gusto's like saved us. Um, in the last sort of three or four months because we have gusto four times a week um, and it just takes some brain work out of us so that's important so that is um, what what I what I've chosen um, to go in uh, the signature so it's a matter of cutting it down now to the right size um, for, for the journal so get out me me trimmer so what did I say they were seven and a half tall wasn't it and then it was eleven inches wide so that's where we're going although I'm keeping this at the length I'm just going to fold the other bit over so we're going to seven and a half and that gives us the right height and then we'll go to 11 inches actually we do five and a half oh no we must well do 11 i've got a new scoring tool for this so I lost my other so then let's get that used fold that over and then we can fold it in half 
and that is the first bit of the signature. Another reason for choosing this um, particular one was that I happen to have three of them. So that was that was why that was the case. I don't know where I've put the book now, but I'm going to put that there as I forget. So now I'm just going to cut this down. I don't want a fold over on this. So I will show. I think they're all much the same. But a few of them are a little bit different. And then we'll fold it up. I love this trimmer for the fact that it's got a little edge to it so I can fold things better. This is stamping up but it's exactly the same as um do I want to fold it up into a pocket now? I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it down as is. Um so I want to make this seven and a half because it's not the it's shorter in tip, so we'll go seven and a half. There we go. Um yeah, it's stamping up, um, but it's the same as Fasten Creative. Um And Hobbycraft used to sell them as well. So, and I think Hobbycraft might still have some, but they don't sell the blades anymore. So you can get the blades from Fast and Creative. You can get the blades from Stampin' Up. Or like me, I bought the Crafter's Companion one because they were the cheapest. So, yeah, that's what I did with that. So I want this to be 11 inches. So I'm going to take bit off each end bit off there got some scraps tools we got some scraps there we go there I don't usually like using um, cutting this with vintage paper because um, it goes fluffy right so seven and a half there and we're just going to create a pocket. Let's get the cutting blade out of the way. I'm going to gently score. Because if I push too much, it will go through it, being as it's antique paper. So, take that down. And then I'm just going to fold this bit over a tad. So we can see that nice little rough edge. And then we'll fold it in half. And that's because I figure in this journal there'll be all sorts of tickets and stuff that I'll collect. I've just printed off photos going back to um, March when we found out that it was poorly and, uh, and then we've had two couple of things have happened in that time and I forgot to take photos we went to a wedding party and I had loads of friends coming to stay and to visit during that weekend forgot to take any photos had um, we had family this weekend didn't take any photos I can't believe it I was kind of it was like quite emotional at times um, and uh, yeah didn't take any photos what a wally so that's just going to be journaled about I think I think I might do a journaling page sort of on family really the strength of family and uh write about it because I got no photos well there was one photo took when my sister so both my sisters came they stayed the whole weekend and then on the Saturday Ed's dad came with his sister and brother-in-law and um, yeah, 
I'd love to do it that way. And um, so when uh, when my sister arrived, she was wearing a Mickey Mouse T-shirt. Now my sister never wears T-shirts, but she was she turned up in a Mickey Mouse T-shirt. Um, and that morning, I picked off the pile my Mickey Mouse T-shirt, and it was like. It was unreal. We're going that way, Jess. Yeah, and that one's the right way up. Yeah, so we were both. It's not this. It wasn't the same Mickey Mouse T-shirt, but we were both born bought in Disney World Orlando, and um, and it was just really spooky. And it's the sort of thing my sister and I have done this quite often before. Turned up wearing the same top or the same pyjamas and here we are doing it again so we did get a photo of that and that was the only photo we took and then on Sunday Ed's dad came with his sister no with his no his dad came with his sister and then his mum came with his brother and their husband wife so that was so that was that was very lovely now what i'm going to do with this because this is really old and it's a cloth um bound map and um it needs a bit of reinforcing so i'm gonna go down it with some micro pour i'm gonna put it on this side just down that bit to um make sure it doesn't rip and um and what's uncanny about this particular page because it's reminding me of our pilgrimage get through so much microbore on the pilgrimage because I use it on um, any any bits that uh, any saw bits you get a little bit of rubbing so we walk 120 miles um, and uh, you get a bit of rubbing always protect the skin with a bit of micropore so yeah so the fact that i'm mending this map that's got some of the pilgrimage route on it um, is quite funny i'm going to go over that with a bit of vintage photo and it kind of blends away then I mean, you can still see it a little bit, but it's a uh, blend away. And I'm leaving that to fold down. I'm going to put little um, paper clips on it. There we go. So that's that one. Ed's been exhausted since the weekend, which is not surprising, really. Not surprising at all. Right, I'm going to get my big chomper for this one, I think. Well, let's try. Let's see. Let's see if this can go can go through it. Let's see where seven and a half is. It's there. That's... Actually, I want the whole of Port Merion in it. So let's come across here. Let's see. this ever since we went on holiday to Wales a couple of years ago took his mum that's when we went to Port Merion and um, actually it was two years ago because I had a memory on Facebook about it so this has been sat in my stash for two years waiting for the right project right now what I want to do actually because I only want one side so I do want to keep it so that I could possibly use the 
the other side of the bag. So let's That's really not doing it, Jess. You're better off with your ruler. But you don't know where I put it. So that is why. There we go. Gonna be that long, so we'll rip this bit along there. back into the scrap pad right so to a pocket on the inside. Although it's upside down, a bit of Welsh there. So let's let's just trim that down. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it over a bit. So I'm gonna do a little, just a little turn down. So we will lose some of that Welsh. Probably have to have a little bit of trimming um, on this. Right, and then we've just got this is perfect as it is, and then we've got this. So this needs a bit of trimming off. Um, I like to keep the bottom of this, although I did make a mistake in the last one. So we'll take a tad off the bottom here. Like so. Put that to seven and a half. Okay, I'm gonna just take that edge off there a bit. And then 
instead of doing five and a half i'm going to go about five and a quarter because it will need to fold a tab there we go so we'll have a, a little pocket makes a nice pocket and then we're gonna cut this down to seven uh five and a half this is just gonna be the one page right, this is when we decide how we want it oh i quite like that not you're gonna see it jez are you no, you're not. Yeah, don't like that, but might like that. No, I think I prefer that. Not you're going to see that, but in terms of colour against that, that's the way I want it. Yep. And then we've just got the last, the last page, which is this. So I'm going to see if this will cut through that. It did. Marvellous. Excuse me. Now what I can't remember. Did I do it that way around? No, I did it on its side. That was what I was checking. So if that's the straight edge, you're gonna cut down there. Straight edge. Not quite. It's not quite eleven. and a half tall yeah no so 
I don't know, that way. And have I done it so that the things that way down? There we go. That is that is the way the signature's going, and obviously there's little bits that will need trimming in that. So Start with this. I'm going to trim a tab of this off because as you go, So now what we can do on this is glue this down. It didn't take me too long to decide on what was going in the different places. Just a matter of grabbing from my stash. And not I didn't want to think too much about it. I'm gonna just ink a little bit on that. Um I just want it to wanted it to sort of form naturally. And then we just want I'm gonna use art glitter now. Oh, I wonder if I could see it. It's there Jess, right in front of your eyes. I'm not doing the middle because it will hold together because it's folded there. The signatures aren't being sewn because that's the whole point of having elastic binding. I want to be able to move things if I need to, add things if I need to. I don't want it to be restricted by it being sewn in. Just wanted to have pages ready to populate and if I decide that I need a page with a pocket then I can change that. So I think everything needs, lots of these need a bit of a trim now, so they don't stick out, apart from the ones that are shorter than they need be. I made that carrier bag shorter, but it actually still a bit too long. And everything out. Feel a little bit further in. And this needs to be stuck down. did think about tea dyeing this bag and the fact that 
but I've done it elasticated, then I could still do that even after I've put it together because it's not being sewn in. Good thick of glue along there. After we came back from Port Marion, we had to, of course, sit and watch the whole of the series of uh, The Prisoner. Might have been better to have watched it before. I mean, we watched a few when they were on the telly at the time. But um, I don't remember most of it. But, um, yeah, we watched it. We watched it all. And a flap, I don't know, just see that's where I might be making changing my mind, right? So then, this just put the collar away because you want art glitter. So I'll go all the way along this. Pieces. And we were in France last year and we went to the Musée d'Orsay. So we saw lots of our favourite artists. He always, he always takes the mic and go, Monet, all he knows how to do is paint lilies. And then we just discovered so many of his paintings that were not lilies. And I was pointing out, look Ed, not a lily. <laughs> see does it need anything coming off before I cut it off yeah it does Jess yeah it does and I can see now my track is full of um, bits of the uh, the antique paper and other little gubbins so I just go along and get it out of a little, a little thin pokey tool that I don't do anything else with so that's that so I don't think we need this anymore so we can put you away and that is is the signature. I haven't decided what I'm doing with this flap, whether I'm going to 
attach something to it or what, don't they? But they've all got one. And then we've got plain copy paper. We've got our bit of nature there. Bit of winter there. Pocket there with our Bible. Tea dyed paper. We have our map. It's upside down. Nobody cares about that in the junk journaling world, do they? We've got our little flip flap down. We've got a pocket there. Bit of Port Mary in there. Bit of Christmas. Some Venice and Monet. Some more Venice and Monet. Our paper bag. Our Gusto. And then that's the only thing that's different on this side because I hinged it. A pocket there. Some more of the hymn, some music. The other side of Port Merion. The pocket. Another little flippy. Tea. Bible. Pocket. The other side of that snowy scene. Some nice trees and foliage. Tea dyed paper and that. digital that I made so this can go in our third bit of elastic already and we need to add the cover of this the flippy bit is on the back of this one Forward. Oh, managed to bend that. Stick you in there. So we can take each page out to work on as well, which which will make it easier. And that is that is the journal there. Obviously, it's got no tags, no photos, nothing like that in it. It may well grow, um, but that is how how it's going to turn out, deciding whether or not I'm going to put a picture of Ed or me and Ed or more four of us on there. Not quite sure, but that will look lovely on the shelf in years to come. And, um, you know, all, all four of us can, it lies flat when you open it, all four of us can add things to this as times go on that was a different carrier bag i used um different bit of the map that again was significant to us and uh, different painting that's the one you just put in different page from that botanical so that is the little journal finished so that was it Two goes. That was that was all it took. Two two videos. I did the cover, and then I've done this. So just a few hours work, and um, got a journal ready to put things in. Quite junky, which is what I wanted. Something very organic, and um, that I'm just going to slap things in like an old smash book. Um, so I don't want this to be perfect i want it to be something that i can just stick things in and i've got some pictures here all already of what we've done since march um march and april and then some things that we've enjoyed over the summer and, uh, times when we've uh, been relaxing, times when he's been a bit poorly in hospital, and um, yeah, family times. So that is, I've got to cut those up. I did these all in um, Canva um, and did it so that I got eight, eight to a page, and I thought they'd be quite nice size photos to fit on these pages and write a bit about. So, yeah, and I've got different bits. Um, I've got his wristband from hospital and, yeah, because I'm daft like that. And uh, I've got the car park ticket.
from there and I've got yeah I've got my sesh bracelets I've got me runners um, sticker for the um, yeah when we um, did the charity run so that's that so hope that was useful I mean obviously you can do this for any journal and um, I have never made one that's just put in an elastic with loose leaves in, in that way. So, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to um, to uh, play with it. And I might bring you along for some of the sticking sticking things in. But I'll certainly um, you know, give you a few updates as time goes on if you're if you're interested. OK, thanks for joining me. Bye for now. Take care.